The regular cabinet meeting held on Wednesday addressed the critical issues affecting Mongolia, including the heightened risk of uh, white zone in specific regions, education challenges revealed by the PISA 2022 assessment, and the preparation of meat reserves for the capital's population. The Information and Research Institute of Meteorology, Hydrology and Environment of Mongolia released a zot risk map on November 30th, indicating that 30 SOMs in 11 provinces are currently at risk of white zot. The risk assessment highlighted that over 70% of the total area is at high risk, with 26% classified as very high and 43% as high. An additional 26% is at moderate risk, while 5% faces a low risk. In response to the ZOT situation, as per Government Decree No. 286, 30 SOMs in 11 provinces have been identified as experiencing a white ZOT, and 48 SOMs in 12 provinces are deemed to be in poor condition. The State Emergency Commission emphasized the high ZOT risk in the Gobi and Western regions, which experienced a drought last summer, and in central and eastern provinces that received substantial snowfall. Officials have been instructed to implement partial readiness measures in these areas. Meanwhile, the Minister of Education and Science in Hamaklam presented the results of Mongolia's participation in the Program for International Student Assessment. Organized by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, Mongolia participating for the first time ranks 47th in mathematics, 65th in reading, and 53rd in science out of 81 countries. Prime Minister Yurdan Lofsen Namsra has assigned Minister Inga Mokhlan to propose further measures based on the PISA 2022 assessment results and policy recommendations. The Cabinet has also emphasized the commitment to reducing educational disparities, focusing on improving the quality of education for urban and rural students, enhancing school quality, and ensuring teacher competence in SOMS. Prime Minister specifically instructed the development of a scholarship policy and relevant procedures for students who are studying to become teachers. In another critical aspect, governors of provinces and the capital city were tasked with managing the procurement of livestock and meat that meet standards to create sufficient reserves for spring needs. Ministers Bodor Chulon and Jahlan were assigned to explore funding sources for this initiative. Authorities will closely monitor the quality and safety throughout the preparation, supply, distribution and sale of the reserve meat to prepare 8,000 tons of meat reserves to meet the spring food demand of the capital's citizens.